So I find it very entertaining and relaxing just watching my hens. Oh, here they are. Got Belle, Trisket, Doodles, the speckled one in the back. And we got Lilybird way over there. You're finding grass seeds, bugs, weeds, they eat weeds and grass, little pebbles, little rocks, all kinds of little things, things you can't see. There we are. Miss Trisket got a weed. She's getting some weeds. And Belle's getting some bugs, it looks like. And then Doodles is just kind of looking around. What should we do? And Lily Bird is way over there scratching away. Doodles, be nice. Are you okay, Belle? Are you okay, sweetheart? You want to come on my lap? Come on, baby. You're okay. Come on. Come on. He's a good girl. He's a good, he's a good girl. He's a good girl. Yes, he's a good girl. Is that tasty? You having some tasty meals? Some tasty weeds and bugs. You go on. You go. Go with Trisket. It's Trisket. And there's Doodle. Doodles, you be nice. Yes, Belle. Hello, baby. Hello. Goodbye. I got all that back there. This is back behind my alley and my alley. There's all kinds of grass back here for them. So yeah, I usually I let them back here for about an hour each day when the weather's nice. It's about, oh I don't know, probably 65, 70 today. It was pretty nice today actually. It's getting kind of late now, but Doodle's just got some seeds off that weed bush. Why don't you Doodles? You getting some seeds, baby? You getting some seeds, Doodles? Here she goes. So Doodles just got done molting and I know Belle, she pulled some feathers out the other day, so she's molting. And I think actually they're all molting, really, uh, except Doodles because she's already finished with hers, but um, they all stopped laying, so I think what I'm going to do now, because it, it's normal when they molt to stop laying because they have to use all their protein for their uh, new feather production. So I think what I'm going to have to do now is switch back to a, a starter grower food, which is higher in protein, because I think their, their uh, layer feed only has about, what, 17% protein, and they need more like an 18 or 19%, so I need to probably give them some uh, baby chick starter, and that has higher protein. And I have been giving them um, dried, freeze-dried bugs, um, black soldier fly bugs, but it's still not quite enough. And I really don't even think they're gonna lay until the, there's more daylight, because it's just, it gets too dark. You know, they need light. And a lot of people put artificial light uh, in their, when they're sleeping, but I don't want to do that. I think this is a time when they don't need to lay year round. They can take a break, you know? I don't want to put stress on them. They're my pets, so. I just think that would be kind of mean to have a light on all the time. Plus it could be a fire hazard too, to have a light bulb burning all night long in the coop. 
I'm just not going to do that. Most likely they will start laying again, like I said, when there's more daylight, which would probably be around like April or so. But I'll let you know, I'll keep you up to date when they do start laying again. But Doodles hasn't laid for about a month. And my other three, they stopped laying a week ago. So I have gotten no eggs. What you doing, Lily Bird? What you doing, Lily? How's your foot, baby? Do you want to come on my lap? She rarely does. Sometimes she does sit on my lap, but Belle, she sits on my lap every day. Lily here, on the other hand, she doesn't necessarily want to sit on my lap all the time. Just once in a great while, really. What you doing, Lily? Do you want to come on my lap? No? <sighs> Doodles never that's the speckled one. She never wants to sit on my lap, but she will let me approach her and pick her up. And um, because uh, Trisket gets pecked on, picked on, she's on the lower pecking order. Um, she thinks that I'm going to do the same because, you know, I'm just like, they don't know the difference. They don't, you know, they, they just think I'm a big chicken or something. So naturally Tris gets always scared but when I do catch her she'll come right down and I could pretty much do whatever I need to do she's just very calm at that point it's just up until that point she's scared yeah they all have their own personalities they're all very different I did have to winterize their, um, the area where they sleep in, the coop area where they sleep, which means I block all drafts. They can't have any cold drafts on them at all. In the summertime, it's good to have drafts when it's really hot out, because it's the South Texas, it gets really hot here. But, and when the weather is really cold and the wind is really cold, you definitely don't want that on your chickens. It will kill them. They need to be in a draft-free area. Not necessarily like with heat, but you know, definitely no wind on them. So I got all that taken care of. And it looks like Lily's picking some seeds off those weeds or something like that. Maybe some little bugs or something. Something we can't see. I don't know why my neighbor back there has to mow right when I'm, right when I come back here. It's almost like they know I'm back here doing videos. So, oh yeah, we gotta mow now because what they weren't he wasn't doing it when I first came here. All of a sudden now he's mowing and it's noisy and I don't like it. But yeah, what can you do? Nothing. I need to move away from everyone. That's what I need to do. But yeah, that's expensive. Okay, enough ranting. I hope you enjoyed my chickens. Take care. Bye.